morning, May 15th. I think we are day eight, day nine. Not even sure anymore. Excuse me if I'm wrong. Well, we had a tremendous thunderstorm. I'm just looking up and there's more to come. So I got a little break, so I'm gonna make a run for the city here. Um, going through the uh, city of Hamilton now. Hopefully I'll be able to pick up food, resupply a little bit along the way. There was a dry spot, so <laughs> I managed to stay fairly dry. Uh, set of stairs they have for getting up and down the escarpment. There's a the Bruce. And there's Hamilton. People call it the hammer. Over there in the distance. Is, uh, I'll probably get these wrong, but probably DeFasco used to be called. Stelco. It's a rust belt kind of town. I believe the Americans or the Swedes or somebody bought the, uh, the steel production, but it's not like before. But uh, still, they're, they're doing okay. It's also a port town. I won't talk for too long. This, uh, this phone I have isn't waterproof. But uh, yeah, I have to get around this beast later. Another quick shot of Hamilton. Like a brickyard. Used to be something called Hamilton Brick. Had a distinct red color. You can see the older homes here. The, boy, uh, 150 years later, the, the brick would still be good. That stuff was awesome. I think the stuff they make today is pretty well junk. This is old clay, red clay that was, that would have been mined or gathered up uh, up and around the, the escarpment here and it, it was kind of a cool color when you see it you'll know it you can notice some of the older homes still have it okay later just walking along a repurposed Railroad line, I guess. Boy, there's a lot of people out here jogging and dogging. And... I had a friend who was an engineer when I was young. And one of the cuts here to get from the Hamilton up to the top of the escarpment was the highest grade in Canada. It was so stressful that he was only allowed to go up it once a day, once or down. So he would, he would take his load to the top and then he would either take a taxi home or he'd grab a hotel. He wasn't allowed to go down it the same day. Isn't that funny? Finally, somebody's slower than me. There's a good shot of Hamilton, downtown Hamilton. Oh, there's a vulture right there. There's the port. Still a lot of ship traffic. I actually live right at the bottom of that bridge over there. Uh, we're not going there yet. Gotta make my way along the escarpment. All the way there. All the way there. And then I'll probably jump off and go home for a while. But we'll see how far we get. 
Anyways, I'll see where this leads to me. This is definitely where the trail's going, so I better crack on. That was an unexpected treat. There was a golf course and they had a clubhouse and they had washrooms. I could freshen up a little bit, powder my nose. They had a, um, I don't know what you would call a snack bar, I guess. So they had like a bowl of fresh fruit. The guy put in a, takeaway cup for me and I grabbed uh, an egg salad sandwich for tonight a big old bottle of Fresca or something or Mountain Dew and then they had uh, a place with uh, good water outside so I filled up my uh, my bladder so wow that was an afternoon treat uh, I didn't even want to mention it in case my daughter's watching, but they, they were serving big old pitchers of beer too. But uh, I have to stay to my discipline. Okay, later. <laughs> I'm not sure if that says Peru. But the Inca workmanship all gone to hell, let me tell you. His favorite chair. Must have been somebody's favorite waterfall. How it got here? No idea. Last time, I had a highway crossing. There was a cold wind blowing on my private parts, let me tell you. This is completely different. Okay, let's see how this goes. Dundas Valley, excuse the wind, Dundas Valley uh, Conservation Area. I don't know, I had a big day. I'm beat. Uh, they do have, I think it's the first campsite I saw for designated through hikers, but yeah, I ain't gonna make it. So I'd like to find a place that's a little bit of a breeze because. Uh, not really set up for the bugs and they've been hatching pretty good so let's see how this goes uh, I think the first decent place I see it's gonna be home later